Today on Is It Worth It, I've got this brand new BMW i5 and it's the first time the 5 Series has gone full electric. This is quite a big departure from what we're used to with a 5 Series, this big German executive saloon. Long gone are the big diesel guzzling engines. No, this is the purified 5 Series. You see it's got the i badge which signifies BMW's all electric models. So, we're going to find out if it's worth it, if that sounds good to you click subscribe really does help the channel out but also we'd like to know what you think at the end of this video if you think it's worth it so let's get right to it the 5 series started life way back in 1972 so it's been around for 51 years now and they've sold over 10 million in sales worldwide since its beginning and this is the eighth generation the g60 series even though it's an electric version it isn't a built from the ground up platform so it does share the same body shell as the standard 5 series which has a petrol and a plug-in hybrid version i've just got a single rear wheel drive version with the e-drive 40m you can actually get it a trim higher called the x drive m60 and that's the four wheel drive version it does have some m trim features but it's not an m Five. So what do you get for the i5? Well, the only thing that sets it apart from the standard i5 series, you get this prominent LED bar just wrapped around the grille. Looks really nice. You don't get that on the standard 5 series. But I mean, look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Definitely one of the best looking BMWs in recent years. You haven't got that sort of contentious grille. You've kept it quite reserved. Inside this front grille and panel, you've got all your sensors and radars. And you've got a front camera there as well. This opens up to cool the battery as well. You've also got the very powerful BMW LED matrix headlights. At the bottom here, you've got some more intakes here, little splitter on the side here, and a side air curtain as well. Really nice long hood with some creases, really just swoops all the way down there. And as you can see, really, you don't get a front you just get this massive front cover. So let's have a look at the side profile. I've got the M40 trim. Still got the swept back design here. Five seat saloon, blacked out rear windows, just normal handles on the doors. You've also got um, an LED strip there for the wing mirrors and they are foldable, but got your cameras there as well for blind side detection. So you've got these nice creases here, very BMW. I've got the M badge here. 20 inch alloy wheels on this trim, Michelin tires, nice BMW alloys there with red brake calipers. I love the sort of nods to the heritage of BMW. You've got a five here to showcase where the Hofmeister kink is or knink. But and it's inside here as well on the actual body shell. But it's a nice little nod. You've got the five series there. Obviously, in here, you've got your charging ports. At the bottom here, you've got the two tone black with the blue. So let's have a look at the rear design on the i5. Remember, this is the M40 trim. So it gives you the sort of sportier looks than a standard 5 Series. But just starting off, I really do like the standard lip boot lid. Nice little swoosh here from the back. There's no rear wipers. Of course, this is an executive business saloon. The slightly angled up duct tape spoiler and it's in black as well with the two-tone so it looks really nice very mean looking uh, wrap around leds as well in red so there are your brake lights under here you've got your camera there at the bottom looks like a diffuser there's no exhaust here of course this is the all electric version and i'll just open the boot here it's an electronic tailgate as well so look at the size of that that is impressive so bmw promise 490 liters of boot space which is considerably more than for instance uh, mercedes eqe now inside it's actually less boot space though than the standard 5 series the non-electric version which is 520 but still there's copious amounts of room the wide opening boot space these are your cables here for charging so it's all compact velcro on there to keep them in place You've got your cables down here as well. It's actually really deep in there. There isn't any 12 volt sockets or anything here at the back. Just a little tether port. But yeah, all in all, that is impressive. What's the i5 like inside? Well, when you first open the car, you get this nice little welcome chime. This is what it's all about. It's an experience BMW want you to have in the i5. It's not just getting in and out of a car. As you can see, there's lots of different colors. You've got this in this cream here. Me, personally, I wouldn't go for the cream because if you get a coffee on that, it's game over. So the materials throughout the dash, really nice. You get this sort of 
soft rubber effect on here and you've got the sort of gristled aluminium pattern on here got a huge glove compartment and this is all very smooth leather on here as well you only get this crystallized sort of ambient lighting effect on the i5 you don't get that in the standard 5 series so this really is a step up a bit more luxurious with the all electric version at the side though you've got your touch sensitive buttons i was a little apprehensive at first but i'm sure you can get used to it i would have just preferred normal controls i love the two huge floating panels here and they're rounded off which is nice really good in your driver's view they're not too in your face so you get a digital display shows you all the information here as well it's the latest iDrive entertainment system the updated software on this is brilliant works really well everything's just really crisp clear and bright apple carplay Android Auto as well. It is wireless. Parking cameras and sensors are amazing. You can even access YouTube, play games on this. Check this out. The Bowers and Wilkins sound system is unbelievable. It's like being in an IMAX. That's the sort of experience you get. Your sounds are created by Hans Zimmer, the world famous um, Hollywood film composer. In the middle, You've got, got a little storage bin in here, nothing too fancy, only 12 volt socket in there as well. You've got the crystallised iDrive click wheel here for your entertainment system. So you're probably wondering where are the USB-Cs, they're actually right here next to your cup holder, it's quite convenient actually. So you can also charge two phones at the top here in the middle. You've got illuminating sort of ambient lighting all the way across, this is probably the best ambient lighting I've seen inside a car because the ambient lighting feels alive it sort of gives this wave effect and they will change depending on what theme and what mode what driving mode you're in some people might find that a bit gimmicky but it's one of those things you'd find it think it's gimmicky but you'll end up using it and sort of impressing your friends with it a lot more than you think now with it being an all-electric car i would have thought maybe they would have done something different here with this space because it's pretty much uh, transmission tunnel but no this is pretty much what you'd get in a standard 5 series as well get these sort of little knobs that move up and down and that's the direction of your fan headline is nice just normal sort of fabric it just seems a little dark i would have preferred if you could have had a sunroof but again that's optional really nice high up grips on there flappy paddle just for the boost mode and that's a 10 second boost mode that'll engage the full power of the bmw the buttons on the steering wheel work fine they look touch sensitive but you're not you actually just click them down again nice sort of brushed aluminium effect on the handles the vanity mirror quite small and narrow i didn't think it would be that small for a five series um you've got a camera here in the center as well you can actually take fit pictures of people and get a selfie in here you don't get a digital camera with this you just get the standard uh rear view mirror which kind of works for me it's, it's not too bad touch sensitive buttons here for your, for your auto lights on and off the lock buttons here are touch sensitive and you can just adjust your mirrors with the buttons on the side so yeah all in all this does feel premium so what's the i5 like in the back do you know what i'm quite impressed i didn't think there'll be that much room in here but there is then because of the battery at the bottom you do sit slightly higher than than the driver and the passenger so you've done a really good job here with this roof line it doesn't impede on your headroom at all and i'm near six foot two so yeah I, I really do think you've got a lot of space here you do sit with your knees quite high but i think for long journeys you'd be okay in this not a problem at all pretty much standard cup holder nothing too fancy again with that nice beautiful uh, cream leather and there's no ski hatch at the back either definitely not as luxurious as the front you don't really get the ambient light in that you deal would have thought you would have but yeah no they've kind of kept things a little bit simpler in the back you've got two usb c's here no digital display for the aircon or anything all manual switches what you do have though is this rather cool usb c with some ambient lighting on the back and i think this is a hook but yeah so that's that the seats are molded just for your legs so you're not going to hit the back of the seats you can't recline these seats at all and again because it's a full electric i would have thought maybe they would have removed the transmission tunnel but instead they've kept it isofix seats you've got the sort of m trim on the seat belts door bin here feels quite wide but 
it's not tall so you won't be able to fit a huge bottle in there electric windows do they go all the way down yes they do tell me a story the first electric bmw saw go. the light of day in 1972 to bmw 1602 that we used during the olympic games when you click the boost option your menu on the digital cluster in front just turns to this 10 second countdown dial how much boost you've got left what always impresses me with bmws especially like the the saloons is how they manage to get such performance from a big car i mean it's way over two ton this especially with that instant torque it absolutely goes and this is just a rear wheel drive this isn't an m5 it's not a true m car they will be delivering that hopefully in the near future this is an m sport so the suspension pack is um a little stiffer with the suspension and i think that's what is good about the five series it sort of gives the dynamic feel of a three series but the luxury of a seven series as you can see as well you've got the augmented reality heads up display working really well and that's a live camera that bmw have a way of even though this is new technology it seems very space age inside you still get that grounding effect of it still being a bmw it's rear wheel drive you've got the nice uh bm big bmw steering wheel really superior driving position feel cocooned really get a good sense of the road and also the bonnet as well because this is quite a long car they somehow manage to just make you feel like you're cocooned lowered but also you can actually see front end of the bonnet and it doesn't seem to protrude away from you so with it being an i5 it's a big german executive saloon you would want to fit this out to your specific requirements and that's what you can do you can add all sorts of different packs can be a little overwhelming for some people but for others they might enjoy that now you do get a lot of safety tech on board you've got your blind side collision detection which will obviously bleep with yellow light in the wing mirrors and your steering wheel will shudder like a small vibration it's not intrusive it's just there to alert you it works rather well it's got some little neat features added in you can actually extend the range as well if you put it into um, eco mode and that actually extends the range by up to 25 percent it just feels really settled really well planted just seems to know what it's doing it's as if it's at home on the motorway this doesn't seem to loft all it, there's not much body roll either it just feels really well aligned and absolutely quiet pretty much no wind noise no tire noise it just feels like you're floating the steering feels really dependable like it will have your back it doesn't feel wild or restricted it it seems to just know what it's doing it's like i'm in charge leave it to me i've done this it isn't my first rodeo what's really good and i'm enjoying and i've not really experienced this in many cars is the automatic regenerative braking on so you can actually go around a corner i wouldn't advise this but you can actually go around the corner without having to brake or accelerate it'll just brake for you never experienced that to that level of proficiency with it being able to do it which is kind of weird but it works really well now i've not clicked anything to to enable that feature it just does it automatically the brakes can a little grabby at the start but bmw but let's see what the horns like not many people do this that's a true business exec horn there so let's wrap up this review on the new 2024 bmw i5 and this is a leap forward for bmw they've embodied the sort of feel of a 5 Series, but with an electric platform, it doesn't need to be a huge change, and they've sort of done it with ease. There's no joke, this is a powerful car. Just because it's not an official M5, it drives incredibly well. There's a lot of features on this car. It's packed out full of tech, if not more than potentially you'd use. But is it worth it? It's a very expensive car. If you're after a full electric, luxurious, saloon you can keep within the limitations of the all electric setup i'd definitely go for the i5 if range is an issue don't worry they do do it in a plug-in hybrid as well as a petrol version and you're in the market for spending this sort of money you won't be disappointed but if you're still looking for that full m5 you might have to wait a little longer but not too far also they will be bringing this out in an i5 touring which is going to be exciting can't wait to get my hands on that but what's more important is we'd like to know what you think so do you think the i5 is worth it would you go with the 
plug-in hybrid or would you stay with the i5? Let us know in the comments section below. So a massive thank you to Williams BMW in Stockport for letting me review the new i5. If you are interested, would like to find out more or even book a test drive, I will leave a link in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you on the next one on Is It Worth It? Thank <laughs> you.